Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of The Raccoon That Steals Everything. Moving forward. Uh, so hey, if you guys have not seen the past two episodes, uh... Sly, see that machine wheel? If my knowledge of mechanical engineering serves me right, applying significant rotational torque to achieve maximum velocity will yield a positive result. You mean something good might happen if I can get the wheel to spin fast enough? Isn't that what I just said? So basically use the spin move. Uh, yeah, so... I... Oh, okay, hello. So, basically, the past episodes, or if you've not seen a single one, uh, if you should see in the thumbnail, I have never played any of these games, so it is a completely different experience, and yeah, I thought I'd do something different. Okay. There we go. Rice. The, the precision on that is a little dumb, not gonna lie. Oh, that looks fun. I see fire. Sure's reading way off the charts in here. This must be the power source for the storm machine. And in other words, this make fun. This make lots of heat. Camera, please. I always get nervous around these guys. I feel like I'm always gonna die. Oh crap, this again. Well, let's make sure I'm not like missing anything. I think we got. Uh, you watch. I probably missed something. I am trying my absolute hardest to get all the bottles, even on a my first run. It would be a personal achievement for me if I could do it. All right, then here we go with the wheel thingy, I guess. Interesting. Right, I just want to take a look around. Sly, see that machine wheel? If my knowledge of mechanical engineering you already right, told me this. Applying significant rotational torque to achieve maximum velocity will yield a positive result. You mean something good might happen if I can get the wheel to spin fast enough? Isn't that what I just said? You're mouthy. Like, that's the thing. Alright, so... I want to see if there's any more bottles around. Doesn't look it. Told me I could smash some things over here, so I'm like, uh, okay, weird. That, that was inferior. <laughs> oh, right. But my question is, how the hell am I going to go back and get everything that I've missed? This might have to be one of those things I just have to just figure out later. Unless... Ah, okay. Puzzle solving, everybody. How is it for you? Oh, is it easy? You're lucky. How is it for me? Uh, life or death? I'd be dead within a second. Goodbye, everybody. Thanks for playing.
Yeah, here. Nobody wants you. Uh, let's see. Is there any other bottles around here? No? Okay. Ah, but there is right here. Give me... Thank you. I'm gonna regret asking this, but is there ever gonna get to a point where there's more than 30 bottles? That makes me extremely nervous. Because, <laughs> like, if I struggle to find 30, uh, makes me wonder how multiple, like, 50 are gonna be like. Or is there ever gonna be levels that are, like, just 10 or 15, making it even harder? Like, good, great. Oh, now I have to deal with a light. Cool. Okay, that worked, I guess. Here, the game was taking sympathy on me. Yeah, if I could just, ugh! if I could just destroy that alarm first, I can figure out what that light, what the. Uh, that was all about. Oh, are you fucking kidding me, man. I'm missing one. Oh, there it is. Come here, buddy. Oh, uh, the problem is, I don't remember where the safe is. Uh, okay, well, if that's there, uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to come back. Yep, it's right here. Take it slow, apparently. I got it. I know. Outstanding! Another page from the Phoebus Raccoonus! This one features Dev Cooperinda's slow motion jumps. He used this to get by all kinds of airborne threats. Hit the triangle button while in the air to slow down time. That might be useful, maybe, I don't know. Um, but yeah, something about this, like the music, the environment, granted, different game, different system, all that, it gives me DK64 vibes. I don't know why, it just does. Okay, so now begs the question, never mind, I think I just answered my hypothetical question. I was wondering, okay, where do I go next? How about right here, because I've got three keys! I destroyed your shit! Oh man, I need to get all the coins. Disappointing. Astonishing! All my calculations led me to believe you had failed to knock out that generator. Never was good at math. Well, here's a real test for you. I found a way up to Raleigh's hideout, but unfortunately, it is doomed to failure. You're not gonna tell me I have to shoot myself out of that cannon. I'm afraid that's the only way. Now you're talking. You're really scaring me, man. Anyway, good. to get inside that thing, <laughs> you have to steal all seven of Raleigh's treasure keys. So what are we waiting for? You show me those hollow what's-its? You mean my holographic markers? Yeah, yeah. And I'll swipe whatever it takes to get shot out of that cannon and steal back my family's devious raccoonus. Sure, man. Yeah, but hey, is there anything else I can do, like, for funsies? Because I'm seeing some lives, which I might want to take just because I want it. And watch me fail miserably. 
I got the thing. Oh. I see, so I'll definitely need to come back here with all them keys, man. And here I thought I couldn't do anything with those. Yeah, here, nobody, nobody fucking wants you, man. Alright, uh, I just want to check something. Uh, mm, I'm debating on calling it an episode, because I don't know. Uh, I don't know how long this will take me, but fuck it, we'll just keep going. Oh, why am I not gonna like this? Something about this is giving me I'm gonna hate this vibes. Oh no, what is this? You found it, Sly. This is where Raleigh's gang of crabs stashes his sons. <laughs> crabs. Use your sub to blast them. The left analog stick controls the sub. So it's twin Give stick. <laughs> Whee! <laughs> oh. Uh, that's it. I'm having fun. Remember, you can always drive the sub in one direction while firing in another. I live it there. You'll need to collect all 40 chests. Do not let a crab take one into a two. All right, hilarious. So it's like, get, if you're used to twin six shooters and all that, you should be fine, I guess. Oh, I also gotta shoot the, uh, okay, I also gotta shoot the chest too, cool. Or. I was like wondering, like, why am I killing like a million crabs but nothing is happening? I get it. Maybe I just gotta like drive quote unquote into the uh, chest. I don't know, man. I'm making things happen and I don't understand. Thanks for bringing him closer, jackass. Okay, less, less crabs, please. ABS always be shooting, I guess. If I liked crabs, like eating them, this would be amazing. Cause like, look, we'll be eating crabs tonight. Nah. My family though. Uh, better luck next time. What? I'm sorry, you would fucking what? Oh cool, now I can do all this over. Come on. Congratulations, you did it. Okay, um I did not like that. It was an interesting break, but like I don't want to do it again. Ever. <laughs> um, I think as I was saying, uh, a lot of my family likes uh, seafood, but not me, man. I'm just like, you know what? Nah, I, I, I'm good. No, thank you. Okay. Um, you know, pretty safe to say now that we dealt with that, whatever the hell that was, I'm going to stand right here and call an episode. While Squidman literally just walks in a square circle thing. On the next episode, more of this. Steely, smashy, breaky, stealthy, raccoon, man, game. Got it. Nailed it.